raindrops are falling on my head. Oh boy. Just when I want to go out and play, uh, there's no way. Not in this. Tell you what, let's uh, let's just go back inside, do some viewer mail, and show you a couple of customers who picked up cars recently. Raindrops are falling on my head, they keep falling. Okay, so let's just do a couple quick pieces of viewer mail. I mean, I get a ton, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. And I'll. Can you guys hear that? I got a, got a roof leak, so hopefully we can get through this segment without listening to the. Raindrops are falling on my yeah, head. Yeah, <laughs> falling on my head. <laughs> oh, isn't it always something? Raindrops are falling on my head, and they keep falling. You guys might not be able to hear that, but I can, and it's just ah, irritating. It's almost like that that guy clanging on the door <laughs> trying to get into the convention center in Galveston when Danny and I were talking. Uh, Ed Cole and yeah, that kind of stuff, just in the background, just enough to just ah, drive you nuts. Raindrops are falling on my head. All right, maybe you should just play some music in the background. Maybe you won't hear that drip. Drip. I mean, it is. All right, and this letter came to me toward the beginning of the year, and I do appreciate you taking it. I mean, just taking the time to watch, but the taking the time to write and share some feedback and some of your passion for Corvette uh, really means a lot. Uh, this one comes from Julian. He says, I've been wanting to write you for quite some time. Started watching your vlogs roughly a year ago, doing some research on C7 Corvettes. He goes on to say about the possibility of purchasing one, and his, you know, he was looking at a Camaro, and his boss said, well, you know, why don't you just get a Corvette? And he was worried that it was too expensive. He says, here, bottom line is, he goes, I've wanted one of these cars since I was 12 years old. Julian goes on to say, he says, Rick, your enthusiasm. Okay, now we have thunder. <laughs> I try so hard. If we just wait a minute, it'll be the fire station going by. There's, oh, this is why I, this is why I don't try to vlog during the day, because there's always, an interruption. Yeah, we'll wait for somebody to knock on the door. So, I mean, something's gonna happen. We continue. I apologize. <laughs> I, I, I guess, I don't know, maybe I'm tired and I'm just easily distracted in the morning, I don't know. Uh, Julian goes on to say, says, Rick, your enthusiasm, passion, and detailed explanation of everything Corvette inspired me to stop dreaming and start driving. I always worked my tail off, but a few things fell my way last year and I became the company's top salesperson. My goal was to purchase a Corvette before I turned 30. But I've always put family first, so I paid off our debt, saved a bunch of money, and made it possible for my wife to stay home and take care of our son. Well, there's one last thing I have to do before I can start driving. My wife wants her forever house. Now she's on board with my dream and is making sure that there's a dedicated spot for the Corvette when we're house hunting. Now he says, in the early stages of shopping, I gave three local dealers a shot at my business. He goes, in my experience, was pretty similar to the stories you tell on your vlog. He goes out and he says, Rick, I would be honored to be a part of your Corvette family. Now, I don't want to take up too much of your time, he says, because I'm still not 100% ready, but as soon as I am, we're going to talk about ordering a Z06. You do such a great job with your videos. I really appreciate the effort you put forth and your continued passion. Keep up the great work. You're making Corvette better every day. Wow, that was cool. Thanks, man. Look forward to meeting you and taking delivery one day soon. You've earned my business. Julian in Nevada. Okay, I need to get a couple of things in the mail. I was good. I was going to use the clever cutter to open it, but half the box was destroyed. So, I thought there was something else in this box. Well, there's some really nice uh, from his company. Some nice calendars. Oh, I love to get pens. I love pens, and I love little notebooks. I always need those little notebooks. I'm always talking to somebody. It's like ah, I need a notebook. Oh, that's the other thing he sent me. This shirt <laughs> and this hat it came from Wayne in Kentucky. Oh, he's got a ZR1 on order. And he sent me a ZR1 shirt. Hey, dude, I really appreciate that. Now, here's how everything is so kind of jacked up right now. People are going, like, hey, Rick, you haven't shown anything with ZR1 as far as taking delivery at your at your dealership and that kind of stuff. Well, Wayne's car was supposed to be built on the 12th of March, like everybody else that you see arriving right now. But for some reason, his car got bumped to 416 build week. Uh, the car's not even coming here. It's going to be a museum delivery, and we're going to go down there uh, to see Wayne. This will be the fourth car he's bought for me. And, yeah, we're going to share a little bit of that in the vlog with you. But, Wayne, thanks for the uh, little goodies, and thanks for the nice card. Really appreciate that, man. Uh, you've been an awesome customer and a good friend. And uh, I love the uh, I love the CR1 swag. Yeah. All 
All right, now this box, no, uh, this was kind of easy to open. I'm sorry, no clever cutter on this one either, but this thing is cool. Ta-da! <laughs> This comes from Fred and our friends at Buckeye Corvette Club. Oh yeah, Ricky's got a little Buckeye Corvette hat, I'm digging that. Oh, and it looks like here, oh heck yeah man, that's right, I'm a special guest member now of the Buckeye Corvette Club. Yeah, Fred, thank you so much. He says, Rick, all of our new club, new club members receive a welcome to the club package. That's what all this is? <laughs> yeah. So we decided to show our appreciation and we'd send you one as well. Welcome to the club, Rick, as our special guest member, Buckeye Corvettes. Uh, what an honor uh, to be a part of your Corvette family, so thank you for that. Mr. Brock in Kentucky, hey man, this is really, really cool. This It was bent just a little bit, but I think it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find a spot, <laughs> where? <laughs> I'm gonna find a spot somewhere in the office that we can hang this. This is metal, and it has all the generations of Corvette. I really appreciate that. I actually sent him a poster, and he sent us a video thanking us for the poster. Check this out. Hey Rick, this is Al here, the guy you sent the poster to. Uh, well, I got it today and uh, I just want to say thank you for this poster. You know, I've told you guys, if you send home video, you send pictures, I'm going to do all I can to share that right here on the vlog. I mean, after all, this vlog is not just about me and my representation and how I facilitate my passion for Corvette. It's also about you and this cool car that we both dig so very much. Hey, Wayne, I really do like this shirt. Thanks again, man. I appreciate that. Hey, let's go back to our last vlog real quick. I was talking about food items and things like that that compared to the new Sebring Orange Corvette. It was funny, a couple of you guys said, I think it was Robert Foley and Dave Picken. Uh, you guys made a comment after, after I upload a video, I kind of review it again to make sure everything is cool when you guys are seeing it on YouTube. And as I'm going through it, I'm like, you know what, that, that look at this, the Gatorade cap does match <laughs> okay the Gatorade cap matches the Sebring orange metallic new Corvette color but just for a quick second you saw on that frame there as I was moving the bottle down the cap <laughs> it matches the car perfectly the other guy who made a good point was Wayne down in Texas and in case you missed him on the vlog we actually surprised visited him in Dallas yeah, the link to that will be up here somewhere. Check it out, or it'll be down below. Wayne said, hey Rick, why don't you take the Cheetos out of the bag? Oh, you know what, I should have done that, because you know what, I bet that Cheetos out of the bag would have matched the Sebring Orange Corvette, but the problem is, I ate them all. Well, last week, talking about that orange vlog, Keith, you made a great point too. A place called House of Color, they have a paint out there called Tangelo Pearl. Look at this. Now, now this looks like, and maybe GM got it from them, but this sure looks like Sebring Orange Metallic to me. Yeah, Tangelo Pearl at the House of Color. I just love sharing you guys on the channel. I mean, you are what's making this. I mean, you're supporting the car, supporting the Corvette brand, and I love just being a part of it. Uh, my arm's getting a little sore though. Now, if you've not joined us before, what I like to do is I do a little send off. That's why my arm is sore. <laughs> so we've been busy, man. And I do a little send off pad on the rear of the car, whether you're actually here getting your car or we're shipping it. Then we wave and we give you a little thumbs up and we thank you so much for the business and the continued support. Right now, Jim's in the car finishing his blah, 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 blah with OnStar. And I know you guys hate doing that, but there's some great value to OnStar. So please, uh, when we ship the car, as I put notes in there, take a moment, hit the blue button in the mirror, have the car running outside of the garage, finish that registration, look at the emails. You're gonna love the amount of data and the features that are available to you through OnStar. I told her, I said, hey man, I just wanna say hi to you and thank you on the vlog, because I know that Jim does watch, and that means a lot too, so I really appreciate that. So he actually ordered this car. It's a 2019 Grand Sport, and it is loaded, baby. Bay, competition seats, red stitching, red paddles, Z07, big brakes. Chuck, I know you like those big brakes in there. They are, baby. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His wife wasn't able to join us. 
Vera, thank you so much for the business. I do appreciate it. She was here for the order. Hey, freaking awesome. <laughs> I love it. Hey, you watch the channel. How many times did I say it? If you guys watch the channel and you're here, I'd love to get you on the channel. Uh, the last time you were here with your wife, it was freezing freaking cold, and you ordered this beautiful 2019 Grand Sport, and I just want to say thank you to you on the vlog, because it really does mean a lot, man. You are welcome, Rick, and thank you for all your help. It's Thanks. Great. Uh, you've been awesome to work with, seriously. Uh, you knew what you wanted. Uh, it was great just, you know, showing you the car. I mean, that stuff I love, you know. When you're paying attention, you're like, wow, there's a lot of stuff on this car. It's like, I, I know you're going to enjoy it. I'm going to have to go home and study tonight. <laughs> That's all right, man. That's all right. Just have a blast with it. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you again for the business. And before you roll, I got to do a little send-off to Pat, but congratulations, man. Thank you. All right. We're talking to you soon, too. Here, you can tell Chuck. Hey, Chuck, uh, if you're watching this because of your PDI video from a long time ago, so you know Jim really watches the channel. I forgot I even did that video. And when he puts the center caps on, what did you want to tell Chuck? Chuck, great job on lining up the point on the center caps with the valve stem. <laughs> great job. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> I love it. I'll make sure I show him that. All right, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you again for the business. Hey, good morning, guys. Another crisp, frosty morning. That's right. Look at these guys. <laughs> it's freaking Ohio weather, man. I can't wait till it's actually in season and it's the same temperature or close to it every single day. This stuff just drives me nuts. I'm not even awake yet, but I'm excited to share with you Guy from Florida. Oh yeah, look at that behind me right there. You think he's ready to drive to Florida? Look at that, baby. That's right. Screw the track wrap. We're just gonna get this stuff. Probably spent 25 bucks on it and uh, well spent. You know, just to cover all the little contact areas when you're cruising down to Florida. You and I talked on the phone, you know, and we and we made this deal. And I appreciate your flexibility coming up here to do business. But my goodness, I mean, you're an enthusiastic guy, knowledgeable guy. But man, can this guy talk? At least he's not saying anything now because I put him on the spot. But seriously, you had you had some good feedback, and I appreciate that because you were a little frustrated at one point trying to buy this car. Not only are we fans of the car, I know this car. That's the most important thing to me, Rick. Most of the car dealerships that I go in, whether it be Florida and even I, I'm from in Maine and so forth, yeah. I mean, they're, they're selling a product. Uh, they have not a clue about that product. Yeah. I mean, nothing at all. And when we started talking together, I found out right away, wait a minute, this guy's a real deal, okay? Uh, I appreciate that. And then that. the dealership coming all the way up here and the way I've been treated, I mean, they picked me up at the airport. Uh, I, I'll even tell you, this this car was here for a while, and the first thing I asked Rick was, I said, I know when they sit, you know, the batteries sometimes, you know, they can be, he goes, we already, I had the mechanic check it all out, I know you're driving a thousand miles of Florida, we didn't like what we saw in the battery, there's a brand new battery in it, now they didn't have to do that, that's that's the type of service, you can't go wrong coming up here, and this guy here, I'm telling you, Appreciate we've that. become butt buddies already here, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm going to yeah. see him at shows all over, but he is the real deal, don't be fooled and think, oh my God, look at him, he's just a funny guy. <laughs> I had a camera. <laughs> this guy knows his Corvettes. I'm I telling you. That. So, so this is a, this is a place to go. Well, I couldn't that's, that's what's cool for me is, is is you guys know. Yeah, I'm a retailer, and what I like to share on this channel is stuff about the car, the lifestyle about the car, the after effects of the sale. I don't like to shove a lot of stuff in your face. Although we have a couple of specials and some good ideas. Thanks to my buddy Chuck at Corvettes 918 coming up in some future videos. But Let me tell you something again. I mean, this would never happen in Florida and it probably wouldn't happen to a lot of places. I'm picking up a brand new car that I'm, I'm dying to have. I mean, I had a C6, I loved it, but then you see this right away and you go, oh, there's no comparison. This is, the, <laughs> this is unbelievable in so many aspects, okay? But yeah. uh, I'm, it's dark this morning, it's about 6.30, and I know their service on Saturday doesn't open until eight o'clock, but I said, you know, there might be somebody there. I got here at seven, I see one guy, one guy in the service area, yeah. and Rick put the car inside last night. I didn't want to take it yesterday because the weather was marginal, yeah, and I, didn't want, yeah. I didn't want any rain going down there at all. So I got a nice dry window now, and he did put it in. I came, I said, he did it. So it's frost, as he showed you on all the cars. I knock on the window. The one guy comes over, and I say, that's my car over there. I'd like to put all the tape on before the service guys comes. Where do you go where I'm one guy out in the dark, there's only one guy in the building, and he yeah. says, well, for God's sakes, come on in. Great news yeah. on your Corvette. Yeah. 
That's that's the type of treatment. Or yeah, because most here. places you knock on there, you go, hello, oh, and they're like, oh, we're not open, we're not open oh, yeah. yet. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. This yeah, is, there's it, enough of those guys out there. No, man, this is down to earth. People are coming from all over to the Midwest because the Midwest is still leave it to Beaver America, man. It's the way to go. <laughs> leave it to Beaver. Oh man, what a fun guy. Guy, thank you again for the support. A little send off, Pat. I tell you I need to be a good guesser. Didn't I say I should have went with my first instinct? I told you I should have picked Villanova. Ah! Just before the finals, look at this stat. Look who was number one into the final four. That's right, it meant nothing though because I didn't pick the winner. I did, if you looked at my original sheet, I did pick Villanova, I scratched them out, and I picked Virginia. Better stay back in the bleachers because you don't want none of this. Oh, a little nice and gentle one. I didn't want to hurt you. Oh, yes, I do. Ah! Oh, yeah, I got your March Madness. Look out. There's a beat button. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh. <laughs> Yo, man, one more time from six feet. Wow. He put the hammer down at six feet. You gonna feel guilty. You couldn't stop this at the net. That's right. See, I told you. <laughs>